Hi, I'm Doug, and this is Atomic Age Pictures. And tonight we are going to watch Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe. Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe was made in 1940 and was the last of the Buster Crab Flash Gordon serials. There had been two previous to this, Flash Gordon and Flash Gordon's Trip to Mars. Uh, this one probably had the lowest budget of the three, but I think it actually holds up very well in comparison with the other two. Now, Buster Crab, who stars as Flash Gordon, was a two-time American Olympic swimmer. In 1939, he won the gold medal for the 400-meter freestyle swimming event. Later on, he got into acting, and in his acting career, he had the distinction of playing the top three syndicated comic strip heroes, Tarzan, Flash Gordon, and Buck Rogers. Crab had a long career in TV and movies, and in fact, one of his final performances was uh, in the 1979 Buck Rogers TV series. He played Brigadier Gordon as a nod to his Flash Gordon days. Now, Gene Rogers, who played Dale Arden in the previous two serials, uh, was no longer available. She had moved on to 20th Century Fox, and she didn't really want to reprise the role, and Fox certainly wasn't going to loan her to Universal uh, to play Dale Arden again. So she was recast with Carol Hughes. Oh well, the kids didn't seem to mind. So, here we go. Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe. Following in the wake of the distressed condition of the world, with dictators, war, and rumors of war, a ravaging plague has visited the earth. Stand back, please give me some room. The purple death that leaves only a purple spot on the forehead of its victim. Watch me, watch me. Mysterious purple death brings new victories. Hundreds die. Watch me. The world's greatest scientists have assembled to combat this mysterious malady. The crowd outside is demanding news, Professor Gordon. There's nothing new that I can tell them. Yes, sir. It's coming over. They got through. Here, take hold. Professor Gordon. Yes, Professor Gordon. You got through to us. Here is news I can tell them. Good. I'll notify the national networks. Citizens of the world, I have just received the first radio message to come through from Professor Zarkov and my son, Flash Gordon. They have successfully repenetrated the stratosphere in Professor Zarkov's rocket ship to determine the origin of the electrified dust causing the Purple Death. They report that all is well and that they expect to get results immediately. Flash. What is it, Zarkov? I've sighted a spaceship. 
Ships, one in Ming, ships from Mongol. Come here, quick. Dale, take the controls. Here, have a look. It's a Ming ship, all right. It seems to be discharging a sort of dust that becomes invisible as it falls. We must destroy that ship. I'll drop down on it. Dock off. Radio the Earth. Zarkov's theory that this death dust comes from another planet is utterly fantastic. Don't forget, Dr. Froman, Zarkov's knowledge of other planets is based on actual experience. Yes, but another message from them, sir. Listen to this. Just sighted a strange spaceship from another planet, which Zarkov believes has connection with Purple Death. Investigating, Flash Gordon. Only Ming could think of such a devilish scheme. Beat it out slowly. Every particle of Ming's death dust must have a disastrous effect. Hold your course directly over the planet Earth. Ah, a rocket ship. They've discovered the source of the Purple Death. We must destroy them. Shut off the death dust. Try and get above them. It's Zarkov's Earth ship. They're approaching rapidly. Careful, Flash. They're turning for an attack. Throw it in reverse. We're in firing position, sir. This will burn them to a cinder. They missed us with the heat ray. But I think you scored a hit. Brace yourselves for another charge. Get above them! Get above them! They've crippled them. They're going down. I think he'll be pleased when he hears about this. Zarkov, let me have the controls. Well, I'm not sure we were crashing. That's what I wanted the enemy to think. Their ray rifle crippled our rocket gun. We must have damaged the ship. They're heading back toward Mongol. Good. And they report to Ming that they knocked down Professor Zarkov's rocket ship. But Ming would send other ships to scatter that fiendish dust. And Eric, we have no defense against such an attack. Yes, I know. Our only chance is to get the Mongol. Find Prince Baron and solicit his aid. Zakov, radio the Earth. Report what's happened. Tell them what we're going to do. Yes, it's our only chance to save them. We're over our warrior, Prince Baron's kingdom. Oh, well, look, there's Prince Baron's palace. Stand by to land. Trees. Ming spies might be at the palace. If Ming even suspected that we were in Aboria, he wouldn't hesitate to destroy Prince Baron's entire kingdom. Even at the risk of killing his own daughter, now Baron's wife. Flash! This Baron! Baron, I'm glad How to see are you. you? Baron! Baron! Dale! Hello, Baron. Oh, this is a happy day. Glad to see you. It's been a long time. I rushed from the palace as soon as your rocket ship was described. Well, receiving us with drawn bows. We must always be on guard against some trick of Ming's. Ming. And he is alive. Yes, and rules more ruthlessly than ever. And Dora, is she well? Yes, and very happy. Come on, see for yourselves when she returns from the hunt. Feels great to get into these clothes again, Ronald. Your old sword, Flash. I've kept it, hoping that someday I'd have a chance to hand it back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. Great blade. The banquet's on. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, Ronald. Tell me. Why did Baron go to all the trouble of having a banquet when he knows the necessity of our getting to Ming immediately? The banquet was already arranged in honor of Queen Free of Phrygia. Phrygia? A frozen kingdom to the north of Mongo. 
You see, Queen Freya is here to seek Prince Baron's aid on a mission concerning me. Your Majesty. I'm looking forward to meeting the Earthman, Flesh Gordon. Where is he? Shall we go? Your Majesty will pardon me. A prince of royalty hurries to meet him. Your Majesty, Queen Freya, may I present the Earthman, Flash Gordon. Your Majesty. Your aide and counselor, Count Coro. Well, shall we dine? <laughs> Are you ready, Dale? destroying Professor Zarkov's rocket ship, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. It plunged toward the planet Earth completely out of control. Good. Very good. Then the Earth will still be ignorant as to the source of the Purple Death. That is all. And now, Janda, what brings you up from my laboratories? To ask your permission, sire, to perform a laboratory test upon these selected prisoners. Your Majesty, I demand to know why I and the thousands of others with me are held prisoners in your filthy concentration camps. You plotted with your queen, Freya, to refuse my demands. You meet the same fate as all those who oppose me. And now, Janda, what manner of test did you in mind that requires the living subjects for experimentation? In your laboratory, sire, I have perfected the death dust. Perfected? It, it is already capable of killing every living creature, of depopulating the universe. That's just it, sire. At present, it kills everything, everybody. Yes, go on. Wouldn't it be better, sire, if the Purple Death spared those millions of slaves to labor for you and killed only those with intelligence enough to oppose you? You can name your own reward if you can prove this to me. Tonight, sire. Tonight, in the power room, I assure you. I'll be there. You see, my friends, Ming has captured my General Lupi, and I vowed to spare nothing until he's rescued. I have an idea, Your Highness. While Zarkov and I are destroying Ming's power rooms, your men could rescue General Lupi. But if we should fail, and Ming discovers our plot... Why, he would destroy Arborea, even at the risk of killing his own daughter, Aura. To aid you, my friends, Baron and I will take that chance. But you won't have to if we all go dressed as Phrygians. Well, then he would attack Phrygia. No, his soldiers would freeze. Only we Phrygians possess the secret of enduring our country's extreme cold. An important reply from Captain Sudan, Your Highness. Captain Sudan is command of Ming's palace guards. However, he is still loyal to me, and I have means of contacting him unknown to me. I'll do all in my power to help your cause. General Luffy to be executed with other prisoners tonight. Faithfully, Captain Sudan. We'll make our final plans on the way. Dale, you stay here with Queen Freya. Final. Oh, uh, Flash. Yes? This is Captain Roker. Captain Roker? I'd be pleased if you'd accept him as your aide and companion. He's one of my ablest officers. Thank you, Baron. I'm sure he is. I welcome this chance to help you. I remember that had it not been for what you accomplished on your first trip here, there would be no free man on Mongo. Ha! I had plenty of help, Roker. And I needed it. Well, I'll delay you longer longer. Goodbye and a safe return. Thank you, Baron.
Europa Ming's kingdom, we should land near the entrance of the abandoned drain tunnel. Our ship can be well concealed there. I remember the place. When the tunnel gates are opened, you will be able to get through to the power rooms. In the rays of that special test light inside the cabinet, sire, you will be able to see the death dust as it enters the chamber. Mark, bring in the prisoners! Follow me to the tunnel entrance. This man of low intellect has the type of mind that is easily controlled by a superior will. And this man has that type of thinking brain that exercises a will of its own. A type we must destroy. Sire, there is no dictator in the universe powerful enough to destroy human thought. Place them in the dust chamber. Carrying out Captain Sudan's instructions, Count Koro and I will leave you here. Permit ourselves to be arrested by Ming's guards. Good luck. Ready, Your Majesty. You see, Your Majesty, the man of simple intellect is saved. A significant demonstration, don't you think, General Lupi? We will see now how well it works on a Phrygian nobleman. Mog, place him in the chamber. Probably some trouble in the prison ward, you sire. No. That alarm meant that someone had been captured. Two prisoners were captured, forcing entrance into the palace, sir. They were the uniforms of Phrygian soldiers. Phrygian soldiers, huh? Send them directly to me for questioning. Delay the demonstration. Come quickly. You may return to your posts. I'll question the prisoners in private. Run. So far, so good, Captain Sudan. Prince Baron got your message. I would do anything for Prince Baron. This is Count Coral of Phrygia. A couple more minutes and I'm going to search for them. The others are at the mouth of the abandoned tunnel. I understand, Captain, that the gates barricading the tunnel are operated from this control room. Brown got the Captain Sudan all right. Go ahead. Now, Captain, how can you aid us in liberating the Phrygian prisoner, General Lupi? Your Imperial Majesty. Two Phrygians, what are they doing here? I have been questioning them, sire. They came at the command of Queen Freya to attempt the rescue of General Lupi. Intelligent looking specimens. Let us put the intelligence of all three to the test. My death dust will decide whether or not they are to live. Take these two prisoners to the pit room at once. Gosh, this passage leads to the power room. Ankara, Ronald. At least you're still alive. But not for long, my friends. Hey, Gender, I have brought you some new prisoners to experiment with. This must be Ming's private laboratory. It is. I was right, Flash. The death dust is a development of the thing Ming was working on when I was here before. You must stay here and destroy this equipment. All right. We'll go on to the power rooms. This is the end. I'm sorry I was the cause of your capture and death. Mog, place them in the dust chamber. the death dust. Flash Gordon! You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you, Ming? 
Broker, disarm them. Throw their guns in that pit. Turan, go ahead. You got here just in time, Flash. Count Coro, you and General Rupi get back to the rocket ship right away. Turan, Turan, keep them covered. Where's the main power switch? Here it is. They've broken the glass chamber. I'll release the death dust and kill them all. of our people has gone far enough. Kill them! 
chief, sir. I can see that. Don't send out a general alarm. Impossible, sir. The intercommunication system was destroyed in the explosion. Get to the broadcast room, send out word that Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon are at liberty in Mongo, and that I am prepared to pay 100,000 Mingos the man who captures them alive. Zarkoff is clever. He struck directly at my laboratory in the energy pit, the source of the death dust. But he failed to completely destroy it, Your Majesty. Yeah, but the damage he did will delay my conquest. Why were the disguises for Jeans? No doubt Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon made a pact with Queen Freya. They to rescue General Lupi in return for the right to mine polarite in Phrygia. Polarite? What's that? Polarite is the only antidote to the death dust and can be found in only the far, barren northern waste of Phrygia. Flesh Garden and Zarkov must not escape. Flash and Sarkov have been trapped in the pit room. We've got to go back. They must have been killed or taken. We'll all be trapped if we wait longer. They risked their lives to get you away from Ming, General Lupi. We stay here until they come. Flash. Flash! We've got to move fast, men. Is everyone here? All but Ronald. He must have been taken and we can't wait for if him. If Ronald's a prisoner, I'm going back. I saw him fall. Ronald! Flash, Flash, I've news that will beat Emperor Ming. The I've best heard... news is that you're here. Save the rest of it. We've got to get out of here. and Flash Gordon have released General Lupi and attacked the power plants. They must be taken dead or alive. Zarko, there's none of the like it in the Empire. Spread the alarm. Warn all ships at once. The fugitives are to be taken alive. Alive, sire? Yes. I have my own way of destroying them. Attention all ships. Attention all ships. General orders from Dictator Ming. Capture enemy rocket ship attempting to leave Mongo. Zarkov and Flash Gordon are aboard. They must be taken alive. Lieutenant Sovereign acknowledging Imperial orders. Ming thinks you came to Mongo in search of an antidote for the Purple Death, a substance called Polarite, found only in Phrygia. This is indeed news, Ronald. And it may mean the salvation of the universe. You know of Polarite, Doctor? Yes, and discussed it with your father. But neither of us knew where it could be found. There's the Earthship above us and three points to the north. ships. Zarkov rocket ship heading northeast on the third level. Patrol ship's coming. We're going astern. Four of them to the north. The guy gets around us. Again, Zarkov. Faster than we are, but I think we can lose them. may prove to be a surprise even to the captains of the merciless Ming. She's gone. Gone. She must be behind that cloud. We've got twice her speed. She can't escape us. There they go. We fool them. We 
Majesty. I just received a radio message from Dr. Zarkov. General Lupi has been rescued and will be here any moment. I told Your Majesty she could depend on Flash Gordon. A splendid soldier. I shall find means of rewarding him. Perhaps I can persuade him to return to Phrygia with me. With Flash Gordon at the head of my men, I might defy even the powerful Ming. But, Your Majesty, Flash has an important commission for his own people. Has he? He's safe, Aura. He's come back safe. Welcome, General Lupi. I owe my life to Your Majesty. On the contrary, all of you owe your lives to this brave man. Thank you, Flash Gordon. If my country has anything to offer, you have but to command. Your Majesty is very gracious, but I would have been helpless without the aid of my friends. Well done, all of you. Regarding Lieutenant Sovereign been carried out? Yes, Your Majesty. The Lieutenant has paid the penalty for failing to prevent the escape of the Zarkov ship. Then let his fate be a lesson to all of you. Zarkov's next move will be to land in Phrygia and attempt to secure Polarite. But Your Majesty, we know definitely that only those born in Phrygia can withstand and survive the death-dealing hold there. Ordinary humans. Dr. Zarkov and Flesh Garden are not ordinary humans. If they have determined to secure Polarite, you can rest assured that Dr. Sarkov has devised some means of combating the temperature. What are my orders, sire? You're to take a bomber and fly over North Phrygia. Cover the area where Polarite may be found. If Sarkov's expedition arrives, it must be destroyed in Sarkov and Flash Garden taken prisoners. You take uh, Lieutenant Thong with you and tell him to remember the fate of Sovereign. Although I never landed there, Doctor, I know the region well from the air. We'll be able to locate the Polarite without any difficulty. Because the energy it generates causes the snow to melt above the deposits. Of course, the clothes we wear will be treated with caloroid, which will afford complete protection from the cold. Ships are ready, Baron, whenever you are. Good. We'll start at once at Zarkov's rocket ship. The worker crew will follow in one of mine. I shall go with you, Flesh Gordon. After all, Phrygia is my kingdom. But Your Majesty's life is too valuable to be placed in this danger. But you are taking Dale Arden. Miss Arden is a chemist, a radio operator, and one of my most valuable assistants. She knows only too well the dangers we may meet. Your life belongs to your people, Your Majesty. I shall pray for your speedy return, my captain. Ming will know of this. Seems like old times being at war again with Ming, Zarkov. War is right, but we may expect to encounter Ming's patrol ships at any minute. I'll throw the transparency screen around us until we're ready to land. Captain Torch. Not yet, sir. He will just about have had time to... That's a signal now. Come in, Captain Torch. And we've covered the entire area. There's no sign of the Zarkov expedition. Ask His Imperial Majesty if the search is to be continued. The Emperor is speaking. You have your orders. Zarkov and Fleisch must be captured alive. The others are to be destroyed. Your life depends upon the accomplishment of this commission. That is all.
gentlemen, you will march by me in single file and have your faces sprayed to prevent freezing. Will you be first, Prince Varen? I suspect it. The Polaroid will be most plentiful under that black peak over there. Take this polarometer. It will indicate your direction if you find yourself at fault. All right, Doctor. As soon as we locate the stuff, we'll radio you to send the miners. Right. I'm ready, Flash. wall of ice. Perhaps I'd better send you back to the ship. No, I'm not afraid. Dr. Zarkov is depending upon me. Good girl. down there. We've got to find them. Perhaps they made a landing beyond that range. Awful scared, Dale. Still feel like you want to go on? If we go this way, we can cross the next valley on the rim of the crater. Look, there's some of 
of them down there in the snow. The tall figure leading is Flash Gordon. They're making for that barren peak. You know the farm and the rack? Yes, but it's a small target at this range. Try it. Why, it's one of Ming's ships. They're trying to bomb us. I missed them by a hundred yards. Drop the next one on that mountain of snow and ice at the edge of the ridge. an avalanche that has carried Flash and the others to destruction. There's no hope for any of them. No, there isn't. We must blast Ming's men from the skies.
I'm all right. Baron. Baron needs more attention than I do. He's still alive. He won't be for long in this atmosphere. There's hope for all of us. Let's make him as comfortable as we can. And Avalanche took care of the activities of Flash Gordon and his party. I may be able to get Dr. Zarkov on this radio. With whom do you hope to talk? I must inform Princess Aura of what has happened. Doctor, look. The Ming ship is returning. Have the ship ready to take off at once. Yes, sir. All the workmen in Baron's ship. Isn't that a ship taking the air? Another one still on the ground. Looks like one of ours. They must have stolen it when they left Mongo. We'll destroy them both. Pilot, take care for that ship that just took the air. We're going to crash head on, Zarkov? Oh, no, we're not. I know our enemies, they'll give way. And when they do, fire on their gun ports. Yes, sir. They mean to crash into us. Turn aside! controls of that ship is a master. Our number two ray cannon has been disabled, sir. They're coming at us from the other side. Falling out of control. They've checked their descent. They're running away. Are you going after them, Doctor? No. We have a more important mission to perform. They're not following us. Just as well. With our radio and ray guns destroyed. You're returning to Mongo? Yes. You must report what's happened. Yeah. Take the control. Yes, sir. Fly low over the scene of the avalanche. Right, sir. chasm directly in the path of the avalanche. They may have fallen into it. It's not impossible. We have to land and explore it. I'll radio Baron ship to bring them in. Yes, Flash. This is Zarkov. Dr. Zarkov? Dr. Zarkov. Hello. Where are you? At the bottom of a deep chasm, near the Polarite Peak. Are the others all right? Baron's hurt pretty badly, sir. But the cold is unbearable. Keep up your courage. We have landed our ship close to the chasm. I'll organize the rescue party immediately. That's fine, Dr. Zarkov. But hurry, we can't hold out much longer. See that the men are thoroughly insulated or we shall encounter extreme cold. Dr. Zarkov is organizing a rescue party. They'll be here soon. You think they'll, they'll ever reach us? With Dr. Zarkov leading them? Sure they will. We shoot magnesium torches to everyone. Yes, sir. Do you think they're in that chasm we flew over, Doctor? If they're not, we'll never find them alive. So cold. 
They're coming closer. I just heard them on the radio. I'm sure we located the Polarite deposit. I hope so. But much as we needed to combat the effects of Ming's attack upon the world, we cannot start to mine it yet. Now why not, Zarkov? What is more important? Your health. I must first be sure that none of you will suffer from exposure. Oh, we fall in good shape at Baron. That remains to be seen. I want you all to order your cabins and rest for 24 hours. I'll keep you under close observation. Yes, and in the meantime, that Ming ship you drove off will come back prepared to wipe us out. Well, we'll have to face that emergency when it arises. The ship has been badly damaged. What bothers me is the report we must make. Ming is merciless toward those who fail. We haven't failed. Flash Gordon has been destroyed. But Ming's orders were to take him alive. I will report it at once. Your Majesty, the ship from the Phrygian expedition has just landed. What is that report? There is none. The radio must have been disabled. Have the two officers in charge brought to me at once. destroyed the Zarkov expedition. But, but what? We were driven off by the other ship. No doubt the superior handling of the other ship defeated you. 
However, the fact that you crippled their expedition compensates some. Adjutant, see that His Majesty gets this message at once. Owing to your partial failure, there can be no reward for the capture of Flash Gordon and Zarkov. A message, sire, from Radio Officer Tekla. What is the nature of it? It reads, Sire, I have just intercepted a secret radio message on an ultra-low wave band. It was from Dr. Zarkov to somebody I could not identify, stating that his entire party is safe and will start mining Polarite at once. Sire, we saw Flash Gordon and his party go to destruction. Return to your radio and learn with whom Dr. Zarkov is communicating. Yes, sire. Oh, bungling fools. You were both to play an important part in my subjugation of the universe. If Zarkov obtains Polarite, then my death dust is useless. Polarite totally neutralizes its effects. There must be some mistake, sire. They were disguised as Phrygians, and we saw Enough. them. Enough! You know the fate of those who fail. Has Dr. Borgia reported yet about my annihilations? Yes, sire. The test was most successful. Uh, excellent, excellent. With my annihilations, my mechanical men, I'll conquer Phrygia, who has dared to aid my enemies, who has defied me because it possessed Polarite in an unlivable climate. But, sire, they must be controlled by humans. They will be remotely controlled. I'll give you one more chance. My annihilations are walking bombs. You are to take them, return to Phrygia, and accomplish that which you previously failed to do. This time we shall not fail, sire. But the expedition must be destroyed, with two exceptions. Zarkov and Flash Gordon. As a prisoner, Zarkov will be of great use to me in my conquest of the universe. And he will destroy his friend Flash Gordon. When shall we start, sire? Just as soon as you've been instructed in the use of my annihilators. We have mined enough pull right to begin my work of combating Ming's purple death. Let's get some of it to the ship. Okay, Doctor. From what I've learned, we can control the annihilators from the ship with that instrument. Certainly. We couldn't live exposed to the Phrygian atmosphere. Well, how do Flash Gordon and the Earth people manage it? Probably some invention of that genius Zarkov. No wonder Ming wants him alive. All right, boys, that's enough. Start loading up. Look, I can see them. They're mining at the base of that hill. Get the annihilators ready at once. Yeah. Tyler, man the ship behind that hill. Then they won't see us until the explosive iron men are marching against them. What is it, Flash? I hear the motor of a spaceship. I can't locate the direction. Well, perhaps it's Dr. Zarkov warming up ours. Doesn't sound like our motor. A big ship is just landing beyond that hill. Close to the polarized mines. The mean to attack us. But, Doctor, without your contra-free solution, they couldn't leave the ship and survive. Not unless they have some similar protection. Get as close to them as you can and find out what they're up to. Yes, sir. The analysis are all in line and they work perfectly. I'll march them around the hill to the pit where Flash Gordon and his party are working. Flash 
gosh, what are those awful creatures? I never saw anything like them. They must be from another planet. But they're not human, Dale. They're mechanical. Probably operated by someone we can't see. This ray gun ought to stop them. Why, they're invincible. Come on, fellas, we'll stop them. Come back, you fools. You can't fight them. They'll crush you. I may as well show them they haven't got a chance. They're walking bombs, operated by remote control. Oh, well, they've got us trapped here. Iron men have attacked Flash and the others at the mine. Iron men? You mean robots? Mechanical men? They seem to be. Come on! Flash, I need our help! Back to the wall, quickly, everybody! You've got to. It's our only chance. We won't forgive another failure. My lives are forfeit if I don't. to destroy them. Ling won't forgive another failure. My lives are forfeit if I don't. We allowed an escape from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming will pay as much for Dale alive as he will for Zarkov. Careful, don't let the annihilator drop her. 
They've got Dale. Come back! You'll be blown to atoms! Explode the inhaler. Kill a girl? Oh. I've got a trick with two of that. This means a hundred thousand mingos to you and me. Flash! Flash! Where's Dale? Dale? I don't know. All I could see was Iron Man. There was an explosion that knocked me out. Well, by their tracks, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of you. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy Zarkov's ship first. No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov too. It's Ming's ship. They're carrying off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale. Dr. Zarkov, Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Zarkov more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polaroid to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the Purple Death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the purple death. And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have to... Yes? Your son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad. Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia. Far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that Ming can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. It will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. Getting close in.
That's a splendid achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by Ming. I don't know what's happened to them. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming. Polar rights unloaded. Good. Now we'll start back after Ming. Prisoners will come closer. Welcome back to Mongo, Dr. Zarkov, and Pretty Dale. It is too bad that our friend Flash Gordon is not with us. I understand that he met with an unfortunate accident. And now that you're here, Doctor, you'll tell me the formula that enabled you to land in the frozen land of Phrygia. You're wasting your breath, me. It matters not how you torture me, you'll never learn that secret. I have an easier way of learning, Doctor. Captain Torch. Sire. You will return to Phrygia and bring back Dr. Zarkov's rocket ship. The apparatus he used to combat cold is aboard it. It shall be done, sir. You have a short time, Doctor, to decide whether or not you will help me in my conquest of the universe or meet such an amusing death which I may devise. I have told you. Don't answer now. Think it over. Ah, my dear, you're lovely. More beautiful than ever. Having deprived you of your sweetheart, it is only fair that I should take his place. Take them away and have the girl dressed in garments befitting the wife of an emperor. Flying over for Gia. You're going to have a job getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over him. I'll slow him down. No. We'll need that ship to get at Ming. I'm going to spin her down. Turn on a smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. Leave the smoke screen on. Seem to be damaged much. Hardly at all. Flash court. A lie. Broker, disarm them. Tie them up. What are you going to do? Take your ship into Ming's palace. Then you're going to give the password that opens the gates to the space court. Control ship coming in for a landing, sir. Welcome, Captain Torch. Shoot! 
We'll have them all down here on us. Zarkov. He refused to accept the terms I offered him and must suffer the consequences. Look. You still have a few moments to reconsider your decision, Dr. Zarkov. When the hands of the clock point to the eleventh hour, it will automatically release my destroying ray. I have made my decision, Ming, and you cannot alter it. If you're determined to go through with this murder, at least let me join him down there. And lose the bride that I have waited for so long. sacrificing the Earthman to the destroying ray. We can see from the window that overlooks the arena.
I'm setting you free first. He has chosen his own death. Stop it. Oh, stop it. Stop it, you murder, you monster, you... <laughs> under the palace, and they'll bargain with me. Guards, seize them! Quick, the guards! Have Sarkov brought to me at once. I shall report you. The Emperor will probably be interested in your actions also. He values this Earth girl. Well, we're going to be friends, aren't we? I hope so. I'm a prisoner, too, from Arborea. Do you think you could help me find some other clothes? I have those that I wore when they captured me. Could I have them? Yes. And I think they'll fit you, too. I am prepared to offer you your life on certain conditions. And the conditions are? I have a great respect for your scientific knowledge and ability. If you will devote them to my service, you may live. But as a prisoner? Is not that preferable to death? Yes, if my service will benefit humanity. You will go to my laboratories. There you will meet great scientists from other planets. And you will all work for my conquest of the universe. No one following us now? No. Got to find the entrance to the caverns. Hurry. That must be the entrance to the caverns. Flash. We can use those uniforms. I'm a prisoner here like you. But I will devote all my energy to breaking Ming's evil power. You must help me. I will. You must know many of the secrets of this place. Together we might undo this man who would be dictator of the universe. Yes, I do know many things. This will make a good disguise. Yes, I was counting on that. Oh, a radio phone, huh? May come in handy. Now let's hide those guards and try and find Dale. I beg your pardon. Where is the Earth girl locked up? Why do you ask? We're of the Arctic Guard. We've been sent to question her about the possible whereabouts of her companions. I've been sent to transfer her to other quarters. You may come with me. Thank you, sir.
I've come to take you to another room. But first, this guard will question you. Have you any idea where your companions are hiding? No, no, I haven't. Did they receive any information regarding the palace that you know of? No. There. Here's an order for your release. Now for a place to hide him. Hide him in there. What about her? Well, she's a prisoner also. You won't give an alarm, will you? No, I won't. Good girl. Now we'd better lock you up too so you can clear yourself. Yes, you must do that. Good. Here's the release. Now, if we can help Zarkov. She is to be taken into Dr. Zarkov. I wish to question each in the other's presence. It does not say she shall be admitted to the laboratory. Nor does it say she shall not be. It is in order for her to be moved. Where is a matter for my discretion? bring you here. You'll have to ask my escort. Flash! How did you do it? It's a long story, Zarkov. What about him? He's a friend. And will become an ally. But tell me about the Polarite. I landed our shipload on Earth. Thank Providence for that. Now, come on, let's get out of here. No. You're not going? No. We could only hide in the caverns. I can do far more here to assure our eventual departure. With the aid of calm here, I hope to be able to counteract some of Ming's defensive mechanism. That will lay him open to attack and aid our cause. Well, if you're determined to stay, we can keep in contact with this radio phone. Yeah, I'll ascertain its wavelength. There, Flash. I've set it in a very low wavelength. And I'm making another radio like it. Good. Then we can keep in touch. What's this girl doing here? Orders from Ming, sire. Orders from Ming? Guard, arrest this man. This will bring me a promotion. Hold him here till I get Captain Torch. He's Flash Gordon, our most dangerous enemy. If he's so dangerous, I'll shoot him down right now. No. We must let Captain Torch take him to Ming alive. Hold him here. I'll hold him. Nice work, Roker. We must hurry and get out of here. All right, we'll go down to the cabin and keep in touch with you. Where's Gordon and the girl? Gordon? You mean Flash Gordon? You know I do. Where are they? I'm sure I don't know. He's lying. They were both here. Where's the guard I left? He went out. There's evidently a conspiracy here. I shall report this matter to the Emperor Ming. So you let Flash Gordon escape you again? Fong reported he was in the laboratory, sire. But when I got there... Silence! Inform all guards, the reward for the capture of Dale Arden alive is doubled. Flash Gordon must be taken too, but not necessarily alive. It shall be done, sir. It had better be. Your life is forfeit if these guards fail again. Shouldn't we have sighted Ming's stronghold by now? No, we are following an indirect course to avoid observation. There, that should do it. I've set it on Flash's wavelength. Now I'll try to get him. Hello, hello, Flash. Hello, Dr. Zarkov? Yes, sir, this is Flash. Hello, Flash. Are you all safe? Fine, sir, and you? We're all right. 
I have learned a lot from my friend Khan. We're going to try and locate that main spaceship we came in. Wait a minute. You heard what he said? Why do you think of his plan? Too dangerous. The space course are too well guarded. They must wait until we've mastered the protective mechanism. Hello, hello, Flash. Uh, Khan said you must wait until we can aid you from here. But Dr. Zarkov, we're not going without you. You must, Flash. Khan and I are working on a plan to destroy Ming's stronghold, even if it means our own death. But Dale and I want to help, sir. We are perfectly willing to stay here and hide until you can come with us. Zarkov. Zarkov. What was that noise? It's a signal that enemy ships have been sighted. It's an alarm signal. Stand by. Hello. Hello, Flash. It's a fleet of barren ships. Oh, good old Baron. I knew he wouldn't fail. Tell them that now is their chance. All defense mechanisms of the space courts will be switched off as the guards are being reinforced. Hello, Flash. Go to the space court and find the main ship you came in. But, Dr. Zarkov, I tell you, we're not going without you. You go with them. There's no need for both of us to stay. We can communicate by radio phone. But how can I get out of here? Long ago, I prepared a disguise for my own escape. You may have it. Hello, hello, Flash. I'll meet you at the space court. Good. He's coming with us. Hurry. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Let's hurry. What makes you think Flash Gordon may try to escape in this ship? He came here, huh? And he'll figure it's his best chance to escape. I hope he does. That your fire chemical works. It will. And that'll be the end of Flash Gordon. ships are to leave ground without special orders. That's what you think.
ships approaching. I hope Baron is one of them. The main ship immediately a beam. Close within, destroy it. We'll attack from this side. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Don't forget this is the Ming ship. Better try to get him on the radio before he attacks us. Hurry. Hello. Hello, Prince Baron? Prince Baron. The radio is dead. Position noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. The is closing in. Zarkov, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. They're spreading out. The trap us between them. Open on them. Position noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. The is closing in. Zarkov, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. They're spreading out. The trap us between them. Open on them. Like that, and we're finished. I have an idea. What are you trying to do? Sending him a dot and dash code. Baron and I worked it out together. Uh, a slim chance. Yes, but our only one. I still won't surrender. Reload. Flash, Gordon, and Dr. 
Doctor. Zarkov. Cease firing. Prepare the magnetic grapple for transfer. I'll answer with the rocket exhaust. Flash. Flash, you've done it. They're answering. Baron's in that ship, all right. Easy now. We do speed. They're going to grapple and transfer us. You're right, Flash. They're coming about. Stay by the transfer port. Zakov, turn on the power for the load coil so we'll draw together. I'll stand by the emergency hatch. Let you know when we're in line, Rover. Why didn't you radio me when we first attacked you? I radio without a commission. You did the natural thing. Oh, I'm gonna kill you all. Prince, I have learned from Calm that Ming is preparing another terrible weapon to destroy the world. We must return at once to your palace and prepare to combat it. Cast off the Ming ships! It's taken you a long time to fashion six zoltronilium projectiles. All work had to be done in complete vacuum, sire. The smallest amount of oxygen touching that metal would have ignited it and burned us alive. Your Majesty means to attack the Earth at once? No, we will first test the projectiles on Prince Baron's kingdom of Aboria. Aboria, sire? The Aborian forests are the source of all the fine timber in Mongo. One projectile yes, dropped yes, there. Yes, 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 I understand, I understand. The projectile will only be dropped in the barren sections of Aboria. The Prince will have warning to watch their effect and contemplate what will happen in case I direct them against his palace. Your pardon, sire, but surely you don't mean to destroy Aboria. Why, the Princess Ori, your daughter, is there and... My erring daughter deserves no consideration. However, I suppose she must be removed. You're keeping secret communication with my daughter's attendant, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire, by means of the birds. Good. I'll give you a message for her. I hope your highness will pardon the delay. Of course. But for you, Sonia, neither Prince Baron nor myself would have realized the dire needs of some of our tenants. Everything is in readiness, your highness. Whom are we to call on today, Sonia? If it please your highness, a poor family of woodcutters. They live in the Red Forest. Then it's off to the Red Forest we go. I return safely with our guests. Her Highness went to the Red Forest some hours ago to visit a poor tenant in distress. 
Lady Sonia and Captain Turin accompanied her. Very well. Let me know the moment you return. Yes, Your Highness. Kiddish, my head scientist. His knowledge is fairly extensive in the field of rare metals. Is there something I can do to aid Your Highness? Yes, Kiddish. Ming is threatening the planet Earth with a new weapon. The Earth people here are anxious to uncover all they can concerning it. Well, I have other matters to attend to, so I'll leave you here. Thank you, Baron. Tell me, sir, what do you know of zotronillium? Zotronillium, sometimes called the fire metal. Traces of it have been found with the spectroscope on some of the dead suns of the polar galaxy. Tell me, uh, what are some of its outstanding reactions? When exposed to oxygen, this metal burns with the heat of the sun. Do you know of any way of extinguishing the fire once the metal starts burning? Nothing will put it out. But you have no cause for alarm. There's no zotronillium to be found on Mongo. You're wrong. Ming possesses a formula for making unlimited quantities of it. And he plans to fire huge projectiles of it into the Earth. The planet Earth would be burned to ashes. Not only that, but enough of it would burn all the oxygen out of the atmosphere. There must be some defense against it. We know of none. Then we must find one. Assemble all the thermoelectronic apparatus you have. We must prepare at once for an exhaustive experimentation. I wonder if we should have come, Sonia. You know, Prince Baron and his friends are on a dangerous mission. I think I should have stayed at the castle. <laughs> Your Highness becomes too domesticated. If men will go and fight, there's no reason why we should mope at home. demonstration of the means at my command to punish your allegiance to my enemies, the Earthmen. When you see your wastelands burn, think what will happen to your castle and your forests. He means to use Zotronillium, the fire metal, against Arborea. How long before you can complete your defense, Doctor? Well, thanks to the years spent by Professor Carm in developing his contra-thermal defense theory, I can complete the machine to dispense it in a day, perhaps two. At least two. There'll be enough time, Doctor. I know my crafty father-in-law. He's bluffing. He wouldn't dare attack our boy while his daughter is here. Prince Baron! Your Highness! The Princess Aura has just been abducted by soldiers of Ming. The Lady Sonia led us into an ambush. I did what I could. Uh, my position at once. Go ahead with the cut thermal machine, Doctor. Don't worry, Baron. We'll help you and Aura out of this mess. Somehow. why I am being held prisoner. When you and your husband, Prince Baron, chose to ally yourself with the Earthmen, you became my enemies and must take the consequences. You dare to tamper with my attendants, to send this slinking cat Sonia to worm her way into my confidence, and you, Captain Torch, you bloody-handed murderer, to lay hands upon royalty. Mark my words, you two shall pay for this when Prince Baron and Clash Gordon... Yes, I'll Sir. Sir. We have intercepted a radio message from Prince Baron to his patrol ships. Yes? All patrol ships. The Emperor Ming is about to attempt destruction of Arborea by means of fiery projectiles. Dr. Zorkov has devised means of counteracting this murderous attack. Inform me at once location of any of these projectiles, and steps will be taken to extinguish fire. Signed, Baron. There's the answer to your threats. The Earth men have beaten you once. They'll beat you again. Take her to the women's quarters. Sonia, Torch. Sire. Your Majesty. You have done well and will be rewarded. But I have another task for you. We are ready, sire. Whatever means Zarkov has of extinguishing our projectiles must be carried to the spot of conflagration. 
Information as to location must come from Baron's laboratory. Now you are to proceed at once to Arborea, destroy Prince Baron's radio station, thus preventing these messages from being sent. It shall be done, sir. Now listen, Flash, and get this clear. For all our lives may depend upon it. You know I've got us to hear and direct you where the projectiles fall. Go ahead, Doctor. By turning this dial, you will envelop your ship with contrathermal wave that will protect you from the extreme heat. I see. One of these units must be placed by you close to Ming's projectile when it falls. Dale understands how to protect you while you accomplish this. Ronald will run the ship. Thank you, sir. We'll go and get ready, Doctor. All right, men. Get these instruments down to the ship. Flash Gordon calling Prince Baron. It's probable Ming is aware of what we're doing and will attempt to prevent us sending word to Flash. I have anticipated that, Your Highness. Patrol ships are in the vicinity and will attack any Ming ship that approaches. Flash Gordon calling Prince Baron. Flash Gordon calling Prince Baron. Yes, Flash? We're over the cauldron wastelands, Baron. Ready for action. No sign of enemy activity. Maintain your present circuit. Dr. Zarkov will give you the exact information the moment the projectile strikes. Good. We'll be ready. Baron. Prepare the first projectile. Projectile is ready to be fired, Your Majesty. Has the range been calculated? Yes, sir. The dial readings are 16, 44, 336. We'll alter the range every 20 minutes. who dared to balk me in my determination to conquer the universe. of death. There. One has already struck. Locate the exact point where it fell. I'll get flash. Yes, Doctor, we saw it and fell it past. I got it. 30 miles due west from here. First projectile, 30 miles due west from here. Change your course accordingly. Yes, sir. I'll get the fire suit. It's no use, Flash. You can't live in this heat. After all, this wasteland's of no value. 
Unless that blaze extinguish, it'll burn up all the oxygen in the air. Stifle thousands of people, Ronald. I must go. I know you can do it, Flash. Good girl. He's coming. 
coming back. Flash Gordon. Hello, Zarkov. Your contrathermal is a success, sir. We've extinguished the projectile. Let us know where any more of the projectiles fall. It works perfectly. We still have two more units. That's splendid, Flash. Two more projectiles have fallen. The locations are two. Explosion. The connection's gone. Zarkov! Your Highness, a Ming bomber is over the palace. The crows will take care of it. They've been warned. I'll have this repaired in a moment, Your Highness, if that bomber doesn't score another bullseye. You made a direct hit, though, close to the wall of the laboratory. I can see the flash when the bomb struck. There's one of our own ships coming. Two more coming in from above. Surroundings. Zarkov speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. One of Ming ships have bombed us. The patrols have driven it off. Good. Now tell us where those projectiles have fallen. One of the projectiles fell about 30 miles west of... I want to make it look like a crash so they won't follow us down. A clear hit, Brads. The last shot finished them. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Enemy ship met and destroyed. That is all. Get our location. Captain Torch calling up for me. Captain Torch calling up for me. This is the palace of the Emperor. This is Captain Torch speaking from Arborea. This is of vital importance. Wait, Captain Torch. Inform His Majesty that Captain Torch is calling from Arborea. My plan is failing. Projectiles are being extinguished as soon as they strike it. Your Majesty must remember that Dr. Zarko is a Prince Baron. The doctor is a clever man. He may have discovered some means of defense against The counteracting force is known only to myself. A new cause. You knew and you were alone in my laboratory with Dr. Zarkov before he escaped. If you have dared betrayed any of my secrets to him, I'll... Captain Torch is calling from Arboria, Majesty. Get a warrior. Yes, sir. Yes, your majesty. We 
bomb Prince Baron's power plant. We were attacked and forced to land. You have failed. Sarkov is extinguishing our projectiles as fast as they land. But Your Majesty, we dropped the bombs direct. Get into Prince Baron's castle by any way that you can devise. Learn what the plans are and report to me. The lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. There's no need of all of us going. The ship has to be repaired before we can make our escape. That's right. I can repair the damage while you go to the castle. And you believe this instrument would be effective in an attack upon me? Unquestionably. The difficulty is that in launching its neutralizing cartridge, the gun destroys itself. And the explosion releases a poisonous gas that would destroy all life over a wide area. Oh, but... Of course, it would have to be operated by a fuse. Well, if the gun will do what you claim for it, we'll overcome the objection. How, Baron? There's a desolate stretch of uninhabited land to the west of Ming's capital called the Land of the Dead, to which you might transport the gun and direct it upon the castle. Your Highness's pardon, but would not such a course endanger the life of the Princess Aura? Thanks for considering the safety of the Princess Roko, but she's not in immediate danger. Sarkov's instrument, as he explained it, has a powerful magnetic action designed to paralyze Ming's power plant so as to render his ships and guns useless. Flash! Flash! I just caught part of a message from Ming on this shortwave set. From Ming? Well, I'm sure it was the voice of Ming, but I caught only a few words. He said, the lives of all of you were staked upon this venture. I waited, but he said nothing more. Do you think it means that we're to be attacked? know you. Of course, but I can hold his attention for a moment. All right. Keep his back to me. It's necessary that I have audience with Prince Baron at once. I will explain everything to His Highness. Let me... You go with my prisoner? Yes, the Prince will see you. And if I'm not mistaken, you'll have you hang from the highest turret for the abduction of Princess Aura. planning an attack, our uh, best defense is to beat him to the punch. If we can place a neutralizer in the land of the dead now, at once. Ming must be keeping a strict guard over Aura, or she would have communicated with us before now. I'll have a ship made ready for the journey. There's something about this gun destroying itself that I don't understand. The Emperor will be unable to put his spaceships into the air, nor to maintain contact with those already there. His water supply will be in danger. Hold your hands! Both of you! What does this mean? You shall be reported. Just a moment, Professor. This is Captain Torch. You have good eyes, Roca. Now stand aside while I destroy that deadly machine. No, no, you shall not destroy it. Suit yourself. You first, and then the machine. Your Highness wishes to see me? We'll not stand on ceremony, Father. I demand my instant release and return to Prince Baron's domain. Since Baron entertains my enemies, the Earthmen, he too becomes my enemy and you a hostage. Unless you release me at once, Father, Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkov will return here and pull you from your throne as they did once before. As they did once before. Yet I still survive, still rule the universe, while they... Yes, while they... Or at this moment headed for certain destruction and a trap that I have prepared for them. The audience is at an end, Your Highness. Flash, we're not endangering Aura by turning this machine against Ming's palace, are we? Oh, I know, Dale. You see, its purpose is to generate a magnetic influence that will paralyze Ming's power plants and weapons of defense making it impossible for him to defend himself against an attack. What, what will happen to us in this land of the dead that we're heading for? I've never been there, but I heard tales that at one time it was inhabited by a race of rockmen that long ago passed into oblivion. Look! A big ship! We're ready with the stern rocket gun! Quickly, 
I think we can beat them off. No, Flash. We dare not risk being hit. The fate of our boar is in our hands. We'll go into our disappearing screen. Make a long circuit, approaching the land of the dead from the other side. They're gone, sir. One of Zarkov's disappearing acts again. Take the controls, now. Huh? Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. Captain Torch calling Emperor Ming. All right, Torch. You know their destination. Your speed ship will get you to the land of the dead before them. When they come, destroy their ship. Plant your plastic mine in the vicinity of giant dome rock. That is the only place that Zarkov can direct his new weapon at my palace. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Set it down on one of those narrow cuts where it will not be visible when Baron's ship arrives. Careful. We've got enough sin tonight there to shatter a continent. We've got to lay this mine and be well under the air before Prince Baron's expedition arrives. Better place a guard to warn us in case they get here before we're ready to clear out. I'll watch for their ship from that ledge. the giant's dome rocks. Set the ship down to them as close as you can. Yes, sir. One of Ming's latest developments. When the ray reaches number five, the blast goes off. Zarkov's military arms, useless. All right, men, cover it up. That's enough. We'll find Sonia and get to the ship. And 
the devil's army. Not as bad as the one we planted. They don't get us out of here quick. We'll all be blown out of them. It's bad. Yes, it is the giant stone. Good. We'll get the military on base there at once. Come on, boys. Not so fast. We must make an inspection first. Discover some cave where we can take refuge from the poisonous gases resulting from the discharge. That's right, Doctor. Your Highness, you remain here with Ron while we look things over. The land of the dead. This is a dreadful place. Why, well, those rocks look positively menacing. Well, let's get going. Ming may attack us before we've accomplished our purpose. They're right near where we laid the mine. This is the place. It isn't so far from the ship. And there are plenty of caves to take shelter in. We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. Now they might find a timer and stop the explosion. Right near where we laid the mine. This is the place. It isn't so far from the ship. And there are plenty of caves to take shelter in. We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. do with them. 
Take him someplace for burial, perhaps. What's this all about? Maybe some kind of a ceremony. Yes, that's to see if they're dead. trying to say he wants to know who we are and where we came from what language is it it's an ancient language spoken by the lost tribes that once inhabited the gobi desert on earth we're going to be taken to the king why are we prisoners Arkoff? i think they're blaming us for that explosion well, we shouldn't be held responsible for that Mark, who are you from the monster if it doesn't see us. Call it in the Guanpian. Even the blast of its breath is deadly poison. He says the reason they dress like rocks is to protect themselves against these monsters. Come back here! They call this place the land of the dead. What you want? Saying. It seems they're blaming us for the disappearance of the king's son. But they can't do that. We had nothing. The king's son has failed to return since the explosion, which apparently caused a serious earthquake and did a lot of damage. I suppose his son doesn't show up. In that case, our lives will be forfeit. Oh, but that's not right. Torch caused the explosion. You better try and make that clear to them, Zakhar. Snarfra. You, ma, round by you. Nan, at, near, with, see, ha. Sloof, ella, next, see, now. Yes, it am, right. Slash, the loose, net, yes. He's coming, too. What happened? What have they done with Dale? 
Dale was sent to another cell along with Zonia. We're all to be kept under guard. The search is over. Search? What search? A search to find the Rock King's missing son. Remember? That's what all the trouble is about. That's right. I remember now. You know, it's funny. None of us suspected this part of Mongo was inhabited. Where do these people originate from? I can only account for them as being descended from the original race, which thousands of years ago inhabited numerous planets on the solar system. They're primitive, all right. Yeah. They have no science. Think there's a chance to smash through? Not by force alone. We'll have to work out some other plan. Emergency. Calling emergency means palace. Dale Arden calling emergency. Dale, listen carefully. This is calm. Let me call you back. Ming is on his way to the laboratory. We must not risk being discovered. Your Imperial Majesty. We must ascertain the activities of Flesh, Gordon, and Dr. Zarkov. I have been trying to do so, sire. And be prepared in case Torch failed to stop them. Yes, sire. I'll take that instrument, if you please. Give it to me. What instrument? That shortwave radio you were trying to call your friend the emergency upon. Why, you! <laughs> and find out what this is all about. Is Dale Arden calling the emergency at Ming's Palace? Dale Arden calling the emergency? Flash Garden and Professor Zarko want to thank you for your valuable assistance in fighting Ming. We're in serious trouble and need help. This is urgent. We need help. Answer, please. Help. So, Zarkov learned all my secrets from you. You traitor. Why shouldn't I be a traitor to you? After the way you've treated my people, lock him up. I have decided the manner in which he is to die. Take him away. No. You better let me do it. You two will know better how to get help when you do get out of here. All right. I wouldn't let you do it if we didn't think it'd work. Ready? Oh. 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 Tell him he's poisoned. Oh, Tell him to do something. Oh. Uh, uh, so. Yes. Got to try and find Ronald and Prince Baron. Yes, if we can locate the ship. 
It should be somewhere in that direction. Where's Flash and Professor Zarkov? We tricked the guards. They've gone for help. And there's a chance for us. I certainly hope so. Do you feel a strong gravity pull from the left of us? Yes. It's like some powerful magnetic force. Help! Help! What is that? I don't know. Let's find out. is getting stronger than ever. Then it's true. This part of Mongo is made up of highly magnetized particles. Ah! Up there. must have uncovered it. It's already came one victim. Trapped that other. Oh! Is that you? Come on, no! No, no! 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 It's the Rock King's son. He must have been trapped up there when the explosion opened the ground and exposed the roadstone. Got to save him, Zarkov. It's the only way to make the king call off the execution. Look. That roadstone is balanced on the slender pinnacle. If I could get one of those big rocks above started, it would knock the lodestone into the depths of the planet. Too dangerous. That's the only chance to save Dale and the others. Zarkov, go on back to the caves. Tell the king we found his son. Good luck, Flash. Good luck.
did you get the Prince stone from that ledge? That rock I shoved into the pit. It dislodged the lodestone and broke the magnetic field. We must get him back to his father at once. I only hope we're in time to save the others. Look, Zarkov, you go on ahead. Tell them I found him. I'll bring him in. What is he saying? He's thanking you for saving him. Says he'll devote his life to your service. The king has granted us our freedom because of what Flash has done. Now! If he really means what he says, tell him to help us now. Roga, come on! No. Did you find our ship? No, it was destroyed in the explosion. But Farron's ship is just beyond those rocks. With two men. Well, can we use it to get away in? We've got to. Any sign of Flash or the others? No, Prince Barrett. Careful now. We'll surprise him. from Mongo. Perhaps they mean to take our ship. Well, we can prevent that. But me was more Flash if he's near enough to hear. I saw us thanks to you. I can't help it. That horrible Iguanthian scared me. That's your alarm on our rocket ship. Well, they're in trouble. He says he knows a shorter way to get around the other side and stop them. All right, time to go ahead. We'll go this way. Torch, we can't go any further. Coming up after us. Then we'll have to make a stand here.
Let's try the big one. Killed Roca. It's just lucky, I guess. Fell on top. What about Thorn? Now, he's all right, just unconscious. Zarkov, thank the prince for his help. Tell him we're all square now. He'll understand. Another home. We'll return him to his people. Then we must leave this country. Will we go direct to Arboria? We won't discuss our plans in front of our friends, dear. I suppose we'll have to take them with us. Yes. And Thong, too. The well, Flash, perhaps Ming might exchange Princess Aura for them. Yes, he might. Come on. Rescue Princess Aura. Well, it's a risky one at best and may not succeed. So I'll not ask you to endanger yourselves. You don't have to ask us. We're all in this together. Thank you. Huh? What are your orders? We'll attempt to enter the dungeon caverns under the palace. Captain Su, the Ming guard, is still loyal to me. And with his aid, I hope to find my wife and rescue her. Perhaps we can get in touch with him over this radio phone Zarkov made. Carm has one like it. He's probably waiting for a message from us. I'll try. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Hello? Hello? Our only chance to communicate with Flash and the others is by that radio phone. Where is it? It was left in the laboratory where they arrested me. Oh, Captain Sudi knows where. Behind that meter set in the old hiding place. I can get it from the laboratory if Captain Sudan will help me. I will, Your Highness. Oh, then do so. It's long past the time that Flash promised to call me. Flash Gordon calling emergency. Perhaps something has happened to Carmen. I trust not. Keep calling him the chance he'll answer. Hello? Calling emergency. Gordon is calling me. Yes, Flash. This is emergency. Listen carefully. They've made me a prisoner, but Captain Sutton is helping me. Good. Now listen to me. Can you get a message to Princess Aura? She's here now. What do you wish to tell her? I'll let Baron do it. Get out. Oh, my dear, are you all right? Yes, darling, I'm all right. Good. Tonight we'll take you away. Let me speak to the captain. Captain, we'll land near the dungeon cabins at midnight. Can you open the gates for us? Yes, Your Highness. I will be on duty in the control room. Make certain you do not fail. And have available such members of the guard as you can trust. I will, sire. But we must go now. It is not safe to talk longer. No, Dale, you stay here and help Ronald guard the prisoners. It's about 
about time those gates were opening. Soon will do his part if he can. Suppose he can't. Inside, quickly. Coming this way. Perhaps Captain Zuden sent them. No, no, they're not of our party. If they ever see us, they'll give an alarm. We'll jump up when they come through that arch. Hide. has been discovered. What can we do? Nothing but hope for the best. I still may be... What's the meaning of this alarm? I do not know, Your Majesty. It startled me. It's your duty to find out. Good. They're all there. All except Dale Arden. Caught like rats in a trap. Open the flood control valve. But your majesty, you wanted them captured alive. Or are you going to obey? Won't be alive! That thought will sweep us into a bottomless pit!
presence has been discovered. What can we do? Nothing but hope for the best. I still may be... What's the meaning of this alarm? I do not know, Your Majesty. It startled me. It's your duty to find out. Good. They're all there, all except Dale Arden, caught like rats in a trap. Open the flood control valve. But, Your Majesty, you wanted them captured alive. Or are you going to obey? I must tell Princess Aura about this interesting event. Hey. There's still a chance to save them. This will divert the water away from the bottomless pit, down to the lower sluice gate into the ravine. Done it. They were swept out through the side tunnel. Now they at least have a chance for their lives. Close it quickly. If Ming hears of this, we may meet a horrible death. We gotta get out of here before Ming discovers this trap has failed. The ship is beyond that ridge. Carry him, Roka. Princess Aura, you didn't find her. No, we failed. Zarkov needs attention right away. Ronald, we've got to get away from here as quickly and quietly as we can. Ming doesn't know we're escaping. Hurry! Flash, this defeat removes our chance to strike at Ming from close by. No, no. Unless I miss my guess, we'll have that opportunity sooner than we want it. You mean Ming will think he has destroyed you? Certainly. Leaving it as drowned as he'll start and attack upon Abori immediately. Even so, I must try again to rescue Princess Aura. I don't think Ming would harm his own daughter. We'll try and communicate by radio with our friends of the palace as soon as we reach our Abori. Our prisoners seem to be deeply interested in what we have to say. But they here won't make any difference. Don't be too sure, Flash Gordon. You may find your spy in the palace a little too... Silence! Why not drop them overboard now and save a lot of trouble? An excellent idea. But we may still have use for them. No, we'll give them a fair trial. <laughs> Clever device, Kong. But it'll be of no further use to you. Your friends, Flash Garden and Dr. Zarkov, were killed in an attempted attack upon my castle. And Baron, my husband. It is unfortunate that your husband chose to join the cause of my enemies. It is also unfortunate that I had to die before ridding the universe of your evil presence and placing the Princess Aura upon the throne. My daughter is no longer a princess. She is merely a prisoner of war. Do you hope to save your life by this bravado? No, Ming. I only hope to get close enough to put my hands on your throat! <laughs> Too bad. Karm was a clever scientist. Take him away. Someone calling on Carm's radio. My husband! He's calling Carm. 
Can you imitate Korn's voice? I can try, Your Majesty. Yeah. Are you alone? Zarkov to speak to you. Oh, they're alive. They're alive. Take her to the women's quarters. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Khan. They failed to find my radio phone. I thought you and your people were drowned in the flooded caverns. That miracle was my daughter, a very clever girl, but she shall be punished. Calm. Let us know when Ming means to attack, and in what manner. Ask him about Princess Aura. The Princess Aura is safe and well. The Emperor believes you were all destroyed by the flood. He contemplates no other attack upon our body at present. I will know and give you plenty of warning if danger threatens. That's good news, Baron. It gives you time to call in your patrols and prepare the ships for defense. For attack, rather. I mean to take Princess Aura out of Ming's hands at any cost. I'll tell Flash. He and Dale are down at the cells. Well, you'd better come clean, Torch. How many ships has Ming got ready for immediate action? Just why should I tell you anything? Prince Baron would give a good deal for aid in bringing the princess home safely. Why not get help from your friend Calm? He's on the ground. It's too bad Thong escaped. He'd have talked. How did that happen? Well, he pretended to be wounded worse than he was. The guards didn't watch him. It was Trisonia. Maybe she'll think more of her neck. Sonia, we're going to give you a chance for your life. We want you to send her away, Earthman. You and I understand each other. All right, Dale. Release me, Flash Garden, and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to have to talk first. And then I'll see what I can do about getting you out. Remember, you're Prince Baron's prisoner, not mine. Prince Baron, bah. He's as good as putty in your hands and will do anything you bid him. Set me free and I'll show you how to overthrow both Prince Baron and Emperor Ming. Then you and I, Earthman, will rule the universe. Flash. What is it, Roka? Dr. Zarkov wants to see you. He's been talking with Karm by radio, and he says there's no danger of an attack by Ming for some time. Oh, good. Thank you, Roka. Better watch that woman. She'll try to trick you. Thank you, sir. She's already tried. you some time to get here. You found Sonia interesting? <laughs> What's all this about a message from Carm? He said that... Now, wait a minute, Sarkoff. I want his exact words. How did he begin? Exact words? Well, I don't know. Roka talked to him first. He made the connection, then handed me the radio. Well, Roka, he said, this is Carm. I'm alone in the laboratory. And it wasn't Carm who was speaking. Not Carm! What do you mean? He said Princess Aura was safe. It couldn't have been Carm. You see, we'd arranged code words to avoid this sort of trick. If it had been calm, he would have begun with the words, listen carefully. But it was Calm's voice. He said that Ming believed us dead. Dead. And he knows we're alive. No doubt he's planning for immediate attack after sending that fake message of reassurance. 
Then I must instruct the outer patrol to be on the alert. Be on the alert. Tell them to report immediately. Any spaceship, whatever marking. The order will go out immediately, sir. Thank you. Calling all spaceships. Calling all spaceships. General order number 83. General order number 83. <laughs> Watch that door. Calling Emperor Ming. Calling the palace of Emperor Ming. This is Captain Torch speaking. I've got momentary control of Barron's radio room. What are your orders, sire? I will send gas bombers to attack Barron's palace at once. See if you can call in Barron's patrol ships, so there will be no warning of the attack. It shall be done, sire. Watch that door closely while I call in Barron's patrols. Calling all patrols. These are general orders from Prince Baron. All ships that are committed once in ground for repairs. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. We're heading in at once. How long will it take Ming's fleet to get here? Not long. If I can clear the patrols out of their way. Sonia cell. Yes. I just like to get my hands on it. Well, she's gone. Something's happened to the guard. He's dead. Killed by a ray gun. Get flash and call the guards. I'll send an alarm from the radio room. doing? I'm going to break communication with Baron's ships, so they can't countermand my orders. And you think Ming intends to attack? I'm so sure of it that I took the liberty of broadcasting an order to your patrol ship, Your Highness. Torch and Sonya have escaped. Escaped? Impossible. Scatter and search. This little job will prevent anyone from rescinding the order to call in the patrols. Why, you little... stairs. 
You won't have a chance. Torch can blast you from there. Never mind. Follow him, but don't crowd them. He'll kill Dale. I'll head them off from the outside. Ming's bombers. The raid has begun. They're dropping gas bombs. Get out on the roof. Maybe we can signal them. They can't see us. We'll be killed with the rest. Gas masks. 
said this would revive them. They look dead to me. The gas control valve. All open, Your Highness. The castle will be cleared of gas in just a few moments. The radio. Communications have been restored. I'll contact the patrols in a moment. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Baron's patrol is attacking. One of our ships is down already. We'll make for the palace with our prisoners. I hope we could rescue Torch. Ming would rather lose a dozen ships than his captain. Torch was captured by Flash Gordon. But the Emperor will be compensated when he learns that we've brought Dale Arden back to him. Will they die and fall into Ming's hands again? Another one of our ships is down. Force be ahead to the palace. The enemy has beaten your highness. Two of his ships shot down and the others driven off. Never mind that. Are there no reports on Flash and Dale? The search of the castle and grounds is continuing. Flash! Thank heavens you're safe. Dale and Ronald are gone. Have you seen them? Torch here had Dale prisoner when I grabbed him. If anything has happened to her... You'd better not, Gordon. One of Ming's ships landed while we were in the moat. If Ming has her, you might need me as hostage. Rocca, lock him up. Operator, see if you can contact the palace. Wait a moment. If he is Dale and Ronald prisoner, Perhaps he'll make the first move. Welcome, Thong and Lady Sonia. I understand you bring us prisoners of importance. Thank you, Your Majesty. Dale Arden and Captain Ronald have been confined in separate apartments and await your majesty's pleasure. Please leave us now. I have things to say to these two alone. I am ill-served, it seems. Sire. Two of my best ships and crews destroyed. Captain Torch, my ablest soldier and counselor, you have left in the hands of my enemies. Your Majesty has many ships and soldiers, but there's only one Dale Arden. No doubt Prince Baron would be glad to exchange Captain Torch for her. What do you mean? Your captain or your bride, sire? Bring Dale Arden to me at once. No trace of any of them. But we verified the report that one of Ming's ships did actually land at the castle during the gas raid. That settles it. I'm going after Ming. I'll go with you. Will your highness caution our guards to watch the prisoner torch very closely? The Empress Palace coin. If Ming will 
to speak to his servant, Prince Baron, over the televisor. Prince Baron will speak to Ming, the tyrant. Uh, Baron, I see you have your allies with you. That makes it simpler. One of my ships just brought in a couple of prisoners, Dale Arden and a Captain Ronald. Let me talk to him. Listen, Ming. If you harm Dale Arden, I'll come there and kill you with my bare hands. I am not interested or disturbed by the ravings of a madman. Dale has not been harmed. She will tell you so herself. Step here, my child. Flash. Get me out of here. Get me out. Dale. Dale, listen to me. Don't be afraid. We'll get you out somehow. And now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov, I may exchange this young lady for my Captain Torch. And what terms do you propose to make, me? even exchange, or better than that, I'll toss in Captain Ronald, who is of no importance to me. It's a trick. He'll lay a trap for us. And how do you propose to make the exchange? As your friend Flash is suspicious, I will agree to any arrangements you make. But you must decide now. I'll not renew the offer. Oh, agree, Doctor. Flash, get me out of here. Get me help. He can't trick us if we arrange the terms. In any event, we have no choice. All right, all right, make a deal, make a deal. We will make the exchange on the following terms. Flash, Gordon, and I will bring Captain Torch. Prepare a ship for at once. It shall be done, sire. Sanja, be sure Dale has refreshments prepared for her before she leaves. Goodbye, my dear. I'm sure we will meet again. They're coming. Well, cut me loose. We let you go and we're sure Dale and Ronald are safe. Satisfied? Yes. Your friend Thong will untie you. A message from the Emperor to Dr. Zarkov. Start walking. Oh, Flash. Flash, I'm so... Quick, inside. Dale, what is it? Zarkov, quickly! She's been drugged. Ming, that devil. Wait. I was given this for you, Doctor, as I left the ship. Zarkov, you have no antidote that will revive Dale. Our only chance to live is that you alone bring her to me at once. Delay will be fatal. Think he's telling the truth? Yes, Flash. She's dying. I must take her back to Mings. I'll drop you on Ronald Barons before I go. Dale to Maine. After she's revived, I'll see what can be done about contriving an escape. All right, Doc. We 
must find a way of getting into Ming's palace without endangering the lives of the princess or and the prisoners. Then once inside, with the help of Zarkov and Captain Sue... There's an abandoned tunnel. Not the one we were trapped in before. No, this is on the other side of the palace. It leads into the tombs directly beneath the caverns. That is, for the way it's clear. If it isn't, we'll clear it. Zarkov's rocket ship is serviced and ready. We are ready, Your Highness. Oh, no, Ronald. Numbers won't help us on this trip. Three might succeed where more would fail. You wait for word from us. You did well to obey me and bring Dale here, Zarkov. Only I could have awakened her from the death sleep into which I had cast her. I am taking you to my daughter, Princess Ora. And as for you, Zarkov, any attempt to escape will result disastrously both for you and Dale. It's all right, Dale. We're to be the guests of the Emperor for a short time. Come, my dear. Ming discovered that he was conspiring with Prince Baron. And you? Are you suspected? The lives of all of us are in constant danger. But so far, suspicion hasn't rested on me. You and I must contrive some means to free the prisoners and make the revolt against Ming a success. Karm learned much of the secret of Ming's power before he died. That secret is now mine. Come, I'll show you. Dale! Ara. I can't say I'm happy to see you. Are Flash and Baron prisoners too? No, just Dr. Zarkov and I. But Flash will come and save us, I'm yeah. sure. Very, very pretty, my dear, and very optimistic. No one is going to save you. Even rescuers could get into the palace. They could not enter this room and live. You have failed to stop Flash Gordon before, Father. Yes, but I'll not fail this time, my dear. You have corrupted my guards, so I place you in this room with an incorruptible guard. That rug will be charged with 4,000 volts of electricity the moment that I go through that door. I had it placed there to guard my own life against treachery while I slept. And now it is to be used to prevent the escape of my prospective bride. If you touch that rug after I leave this room, you will be instantly killed. Remember, I have warned you. Another one of his crafty tricks. Why, Dale, I've stepped on that rug a hundred times and... Stop, Aura. I don't think he was bluffing. Wait a minute. to the deserted tunnel will be guarded? No. Captain Soon's the heart of the conspiracy to overthrow me. He'll know we'll attempt to do something. I'm sure he'll do everything he can to make our entrance possible. Has the sentry post been doubled as I instructed? Yes, sire. Good. What about the entrance of the deserted tunnel north of the castle? Why, we have always considered that entrance through the old tombs were impossible, sire. It is not of any importance what you considered. We have Flash Garden to deal with. Have guards to go to that tunnel. Men that you can depend upon. Good 
landing, Flash. We're right near the tunnel entrance. I hope Captain Sutton has been able to leave it unguarded. Have you received instructions about preparing the Earth Girl for her wedding, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire. Is it your majesty's wish that I go to her tonight? No. Tomorrow will be time enough. Sire. clearly finished me. Sorry, Crow, but our mission's a desperate one. What about your companion here? He's one of us. Sudan places her to help you if he came. If you can, get us into the tunnel. Tell us where the princess and Dale Arden are locked up. They're in Ming's private sanctum, the north room. I can guide you there. No, you've taken risk enough. I know the way. Let's have a uniform so we look as if we had an official escort if we meet anyone. All right, Your Highness. Inside, quickly. What's that? Wind in the crevice is higher up. Well, it doesn't sound like wind to me. Sounds like... Look. We're in Ming's ancient dungeons. Come on, we'll have worse than that to face. This leads to the corridors of the North Wing. Crowd had no key for it. Aura, Dale, 
Well, what was it? Baron, don't move. The rocket's electrified. There must be a switch outside the door. Father turned the current on from out there. So I have the current off. Oh, Lash, I thought you were killed. <sighs> Not quite. We've got to get out of here quick. Quick! Captain Torch reports that Flash Gordon and his comrades have rescued Dale Arden and Princess Aura and have fled with them. They can't go for us, summon the guard and search for them. Watch the laboratory. They may attempt to release Dr. Zarkov also. These prisoners are to be admitted and held in here. This is not a prison. This is an order. Are you going to obey? Yes, by placing you under arrest. <laughs> break down that door. And by that time, I shall have a better and more effective defense. We'll hide these guards somewhere and take their uniforms. Remain here on guard. I must report this to His Majesty. Tom, whom you knew, Baron, had been a prisoner here for years finally discovered the source of the terrific power Ming controls. Calm confided the secret to you? Yes, the drug here. The power is derived from a strong beam of light, reflected from pure thelenium, a new element, which gives the light great properties and permits it to be transformed into other forms of energy. Where does the light come from? Where all light and power originate, the sun. And it is this thelenium that energizes the purple death dust, the great fire projectile and all of Ming's weapons of death and destruction. Sire, the Earth Party with Baron and Aura have barricaded themselves in the laboratory. Surround the laboratory, but do not attack without an order for me. But, Sire, with our numbers, we can attack and conquer them. You, you! Don't you realize that with Dr. Zarkov in possession of my laboratory, he is more powerful than I am in my own kingdom? Dr. Zarkov is clever. No doubt. He has learned from Kong the secret of my sun power. And if we attack, he'll destroy us. No. He must be tricked into coming out. And I'll find the way. If we can control Ming's powerhouse, we can handle him. We can destroy him and his palace, but that would mean our death as well. It'd be worth it. If we could save the universe by doing so. have you surrounded Tarkov, and they will attack if you do not surrender immediately. You don't dare attack. And why not? Because I control the source of your power and can destroy you with it. You would not dare. I would not hesitate. Our mission is not only to save the world, but the universe as well. The universe? I am the universe. I'll give you just one hour to surrender. I have another source of power that you know nothing of. Do you believe him? I don't wholly doubt him. But don't you think he's stalling for time? No. But our only safety at present is to remain here. Then why can't Baron send for some of his ships? We can keep Ming from attacking them with you in control here, can't we? Flash is right. 
Yes. So, Captain Sutton, I can arrange an attack. But only as a last resort. Well, as you know, Ming is cunning and treacherous. We must learn what he's up to. Perhaps you, too, in your disguise, might learn his plans. Yes, but Zarkov, how can we get out of here? Arma showed me a secret passage that leads to the caverns. That even Ming doesn't know of. I'm willing. What about you, Roker? I'll go with you. You hold the fort here. We'll get as close as we can to Ming and find out what he's up to. Right. What are you palace guards doing down here? Searching the cavern, sir. Captain Sudan's orders. Did you see anybody in there? No, sir. All palace guards must remain on duty near the throne room. These men will relieve you. Come. Allow no one to enter or your lives are forfeit. Yes, sir. Keep me covered. I'm relieving you. Go to the laboratory at once. They need help there. What we must do is to find a way to trick Dr. Zarkov and his party into leaving the laboratory. Have you rocket ship Zio loaded to my new solarite? Yes, sir. It's ready in the space court for the attack on the principal cities of the Earth. I think it would be smarter to forget the Earth until we have rid ourselves of the Earth people now on Mongo. We can use the solarite ship as a threat to trap them. Check the solarite ship again and make sure it's ready to depart at a moment's notice. I will, sir. In the meantime, I'll communicate with Dr. Zarkov again. Now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov. My rocket ship is loaded with enough solarite to destroy the principal cities of the Earth on contact. It is in my space court now. We will send it if you do not surrender at once. I doubt very much that one ship can do so much damage. I have enough ships and solarite to destroy your entire Earth. If you knew the power of it, you would not hesitate to meet my terms. This is a serious matter. I must consult my associates. Very well. I'll give you five minutes. Kind of you. Don't you believe in Zarkov? He's going to double cross us. You mean he has no such ship as the rocket ship Zio? He has, he has, but he's going to send it against the Earth whether we surrender or not. I doubt very much if he has the powerful explosive solarite he speaks of. Ming scientists have for years been searching for an explosive powerful enough to destroy the Earth. I believe they have found it. And there's only one way out. And that is? Take Ming's Zio ship and destroy him with it. But it all depends on whether you can control the defensive mechanism of the space court here. It can be done. But well, where will we be when you destroy Ming? In Zarkov's rocket ship. I'll take off in the solarite ship and head back toward the palace, then bail out. You ought to be able to pick me up. Then you'd better let me go with you. No use two of us sacrificing ourselves. Zarkov doesn't answer our signal, sir. I'll stay here and control the death rays that guard the entrance to the space court. It means your death? Ming killed my spirit when he destroyed my people. For years, I've been waiting for this chance to avenge them. I understand. Notify Captain Sudan to open the tunnel gates for us. I will. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Professor. I fear the Earth people are up to something we know nothing of. I'll warm up the motor so we'll be ready to leave the moment Dr. Zarkov arrives. Nice! Wait! That's a 
ship with the Solarite aboard. Are you sure? Yes. Main call it is the ocean. You cannot enter the space court until I have signaled Dorf to turn off the death ray. by the death ray, operated by Drunk. Hello. Yes? Turn off the death ray on number seven. They are off. He says the death rays are turned off on number seven. All keel flash. I'll circle with the Zo ship until you take off and join me. Right. We'll keep in touch by radio. Good. Hope there's a parachute aboard. I'm sure there is. It's essential part of the equipment. Well... Good luck, Flash. Thanks. I'll report it. Your Majesty, Flash Gordon has just entered the space court and taken off in your solarite ship. Why didn't my guards stop him? The guards cannot enter the space court. The death ray has been turned on. Uh, it's the work of that clever fiend, Zarkov. He's at the controls in the laboratory. Dr. Zarkov. Solarite ship. Gordon will not destroy his friends. Captain Torch speaking. Yes? Yes? I'll report. Sire, Dr. Sarkoff and the rest of the Earth people, including Prince Baron and Princess Aura, have escaped through the tunnel. They've taken off in their rocket ship. Then Gordon will use the Solarite ship to destroy me. We must leave at once for the tower, use the auxiliary controls from there. Or the captain suit him to have them turned on. We'll find him in the guard room. Captain Torch calling Captain Sudden. I can't get Captain Sudden, sire. You must. Our lives depend on it. Keep trying. Captain Torch, calling Captain Sudden. Sudden, connect the controls in the tower room at once. I never thought it would ever be in my power to save Ming the Merciless or to destroy him. Then you will not connect the controls? No. Calling Captain Sudden in the guard control room. Hello? Is this Drolk? Yes, this is Drolk. Listen. Can you contact Zarkov? Yes, I can, Captain Sudi. Good. Tell him that Ming has gone to the tower control room. All right, I will. Drolk calling Dr. Zarkov. Calling Dr. Zarkov. Listen carefully. Ming has taken refuge in his tower control room. Tell Flash Gordon to head his solarite ship directly at the tower. I'll tell him. And that means you'll be saved, Drunk. I know that. But it also means that we can place Prince Beren on the throne of Mongo. Now we can save others who should not suffer from Ming's misdeeds. Flash. Flash. Go ahead, Zakov. Ming has gone to his tower control room. You know where it is? Yes. I'll head toward there instead of the palace. Don't worry, I will. Captain Sudden doesn't answer, sire. We're doomed. Send a messenger to him. Uh, there's no time for that. Our only chance is that Captain Sudden will connect the controls. Then we can explode the solarite ship while it's in the air. Captain Sudden, 
Your Emperor demands that you connect the controls in the tower room immediately. Well, why doesn't Flash bail out? He's close enough now. Not yet. He can't afford to miss. You've locked Ming and his retinue in the tower. Yes. And there's only one other way of escape for them. But they will be too terrified to think of it. Already, Zakhoff? Cut the speed down as low as possible. ship will hit the tower. I'm sure it will. Watch the fireworks. Oh! Look! The Solarite ship is nearly upon us! To the caverns where you're lying! It's locked! is free. By destroying Ming, you have saved the universe. In his mad ambition, Ming declared that he was the universe. Then, since you have conquered Ming, I shall ready you your father. Flash Gordon conquers the universe. And saves the Earth. What's our course now, Flash? Straight for Aborea back home. <laughs>